Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays GeoGuessr. Without further ado, let's get started. Last run, highs and lows. This run, starting with what I would define as a little bit of a low. Previously, I would have thought Australia right away. But we had that one on the last run where I thought it was Australia, but it ended up being South Africa. So I don't know. Now I'm going to be second-guessing myself. One of the first things that we can do here to figure out, hopefully, where we are is figure out what direction we are on on the road. This could also be parts of South America. It doesn't even have to be South Africa. This must be... Wait, wait, wait. Are these yellow or white lines on the ground? Because Somebody in the comments was like, in Australia, I've never seen a yellow line on the road. Only white lines. So this is something that's, you know, important to know. 80, I'm assuming that's 80 kilometers. If it was 80 miles, that'd be real fast 80 miles per hour of course not just 80 miles as a measure of distance um these are the most bullshit of all but if we could find a single sign I would certainly feel a lot better about things okay this is a big one this is a land sale head back please if we could at least be on the right continent like that is where my my allegiance is now land sale Industrial land sale. Can't really make out any of the other words on the sign. This is H&M. It looks a little bit different than the ones that I've seen. Uh, they appear to be a chemical warehouse as opposed to selling shirts that make me feel insecure about my body. We'll just keep moving along here. What about this sign right here? NZ. Well, we're on the left side of the road. Total hose fitting service. I don't even want to make a joke about that. It's probably a very serious and important job. Uh, this this appears to be kind of like getting a little bit more barren, so we're going to zoom out of this. Apologies if that gave you a little bit of motion sickness. Happens to me sometimes, too. And we're going to keep going down this way to, like, whatever this industrial park is, and hopefully we'll be able to see some more signs that... Like, what I'm looking for is a sign that's, like, Australian-made... I was going to say boomerangs, which is probably a little bit, you know, more offensively stereotypical than I'd like. But, you know, Australian-made cars or something like that. Australian-made anything. Or something that says, like, you know, South African-made something. Or, you know, Botswana in sweaters or something like that. I'm guessing that we're in Australia. That looks like an Australian vehicle to me. You can take that out in, in quest of Uluru. Um, Phillips. Phillips? Phil, Phil something. I have to imagine that we are in Australia here. So, then it becomes just a, a crapshoot, because it's like, where in Australia are we? I don't know. It, it appears... Sub-Zero Automotive. This does not look like a place that sees sub-zero temperatures. Yellow license plates. I, if we are in Europe, I'll be so fucking mad. I will be incensed. What does this sign say? Uh, well, it has to be Australia because the camera sucks. If the camera sucks, it appears to be Australia, South Africa, or the United States of America. We're driving on the left side of the road, so it's either Australia or somewhere in Africa. Sorry, not South America. I meant uh, South Africa. Uh, admittedly, I look at some of these trees. Trees. <laughs> trees. They kind of look like they could be African foliage. I don't know. I know Africa is not just exclusively savanna, Sahara Desert, stuff like that. The same way I know Australia is not just, you know, the outback. But given the information that we have, I think I'm going to have to just take a guess and say, you know, they were somewhere around here. That's a total crapshoot, but welcome to Australia. Hey, that's pretty good. It was actually here on the uh, eastern coast, but that's not so bad. I, get, I can be content. 2,000 points in Africa, Australia, sorry, is, is fine. All right, this is a little bit more of my speed here. We got good camera, a little bit of information. This could be anywhere in the world right now, but I like that. Uh, my first hunch, I don't want to pigeonhole myself into something here. My first hunch is Brazil, because this game loves Brazil, and this doesn't look like North America. That's how my, my reasoning works. But the vehicles, they look a little bit more European. You know, a little bit like a stubbier. What about the satellite dishes? Maybe we can get some... It's so nice to actually be able to look in and actually see some of the text. There is the seed in the video description below, of course, if you would like to play along with, and I would encourage that you do. Very small garbage cans. Those are not North American garbage cans. We throw out way too much shit. 
people would be having riots if you made us throw out garbage like that. Okay, so... I mean, it looks like a relatively nice neighborhood. Not, not you know, beset by natural beauty necessarily, but, you know, houses are clean. Vehicles seem relatively new. Uh, I would love to see a little bit of language. This could go a long way towards helping me out here. Okay, the zoom out a little bit. Try to handle those visual artifacts wherever possible. Again, my apologies. I don't know what causes that. There is like a city over here in the distance, so we're going we're gonna to move towards that. Hunches, you know, Brazil or Norway. Let's uh, let's play GeoGuessr like a fiddle here. Can't really make out a currency on that. Bow, I have no idea. That that can mean many different things. And I, you know, honestly, on the trees and stuff, I can't make out jack shit. Like, I'm not a botanist, but... Okay, snack bar. Serkis... Is there... Sikaris Strekoff. Restaurancia. So, I'm thinking Eastern Europe. Uh, now. And now that I see, especially, like, um... There's, like, a church over here. Oh, jeez. I hope everybody's okay in there. Auto service. It, it's like, okay, and this is where I show my ignorance, all right? It's not in Cyrillic, but it's it's like Polish or Serbian or Romanian. I don't think it's Czech. Uh, I, I think oh, we're, what I'm looking for now, the most valuable piece of information, and this is such a valuable piece of information no matter what, but uh, the most valuable piece of information that I can think of is maybe a... Um, it would be awesome to find a URL, like a top-level domain. So I'm look, I you know these characters. Oh, Romano, and that's actually that's Comarno. I sometimes I think I see what I want to see. This to me, Croatia, Serbia. That's where I'm thinking. So let's let's zoom in on the map a little bit. I like this one because it actually gives me some information to go on without just giving it away. So, you know, maybe somewhere in like this region, roughly in southeastern Europe. Nice recumbent bicycle dog. That's not recumbent, it's just a tricycle. That's pretty sweet though. All right. We're getting into like a city center here, well, a town center. Like, if I could just zoom in, I think there was a top level domain there, but it was kind of hard to make out. Zeso Bovacic Vozidil Jednoti. Apologies for my pronunciation. That might even be like the name of the city, like Jednoti or something. Jednota. What about, like, all these buildings? I'm scouring. Well, scouring might be a little bit of a... Uh, that might be doing myself a little bit of a favor here. But I'm looking for signs. And all we need is a URL, man. The fact that there was some English on the sign. Ah, okay, so Pilsner Urkel. I think that's a, like Urkel Pilsner or something. Um, that is... It's a Czech beer. Which I assume exports to places in the region. Like, I'm not assuming this is in the Czech Republic, but it could be. And in fact, you know, I think that, in a way, that has me thinking that maybe we're in, like, Slovakia. So I'm, I'm, I'm triangulating the signal here a little bit. It's like a really nasty fire or something. It's like a sign. Oh, that's not a sign. What is that? It used to be a sign or something like that. This is a this is a tricky one. Hmm. I I think I'm gonna be in the wrong country. Oh, we're out like we're in the wild now. Ah, okay. Never mind. Not the wild. This sign could be very helpful actually. Just back it up just a little bit here. Stirk Strekov. 
I'm not going to really look around for a city all that much. Strekov. I'm going to assume that we're... I don't know. I, I would hate for us to be in, like, Belarus or something like that. Because I could be so far away. Or Lithuania. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> um, I'm going to say we're in Slovakia. And... I'm going to say that we're near the capital of Bratislava, but not in the capital of Bratislava, so like right here. Wow, okay. That was a surprisingly close guess. 4,726 points. I can't take too much credit for that, but you know, GeoGuess is a game about guesses. It's right there in the name. This, you know, everyone makes fun of me for saying this looks like the Pacific Northwest, but this could be the Pacific Northwest. Hopefully we can find some information here. There's nothing worse than just being placed in the wilderness and expected to figure it out for yourself. All right. Railroad crossing. I have no idea what that is. Like, I've never seen a sign like that in my life. But, oh, the language. Railroad crossing. This is good. We have to go back now. Or do we? Maybe we can go across the tracks. Okay, we can. I'm hoping we come across some signs. The cameras aren't great quality. Uh, what I'm looking or hoping for is the opportunity to see... See if what these cars are like, maybe. Uh, the opportunity to see what side of the road we're driving on. It's like two pickup trucks, like a Jeep and a van. Um, people drive Jeeps in North America, but this has me thinking perhaps a little bit more Australian. Because I think you'd, you know, maybe do a little bit more off-roading. Kind of looks like that kind of area. And I've never seen, like, these triangular signs before. I can't read any of this. <laughs> what is that? I have no idea what that says. That's all right, though. We'll click ahead here. Zoom out a little bit. Hopefully that'll help with the... Like, when you zoom out, it doesn't look as bad. Which is normal. Is there any, like, okay, this is going to sound ignorant. Is there any place that looks like this in Australia? Because, like, I know they, there's trees almost everywhere. But does, uh, this doesn't seem evocative of the Australian landscape to me. I've never been to Australia, though, so I don't know. Could we perhaps move, like, a little further ahead with each uh, click here? Apparently not. Uh, so... It says railroad crossing. Without us actually being able to see anything else, in particular, we can't even get on a two-lane road, so I have no direction, no idea where we are, um, or what, what side of the road we're on. Uh, my thinking is that, well, this house, this house will help a lot. Hopefully. My thinking is that we're somewhere in like the Appalachian region of the United States of America. This could be extremely wrong. So the Appalachians run like this, sort of. Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, down to the northern part of Georgia, Kentucky, Tennessee. Why Appalachians? Best guess. Um, you know, pretty rich on foliage. Seems like it's quite hilly. Rural living. Which happens uh, happens a lot in the Appalachians. Your closest neighbor is like 15 kilometers away, apparently. I think I'm just going to take a stab at it, honestly. We could be... This could be Africa. This could be Norway. Or anywhere in Scandinavia, for that matter. Or Northern Europe, for that matter. Uh, this could be South Africa. Or this could be Australia. But I'm going to take a crack at it. Well, we'll go around this corner just to see. It would be great if it was like, Welcome to Kentucky! If we went around this corner. We didn't notice. This could even be the Pacific Northwest. You know? This this could be Washington State. It could be parts of Canada. Could be Alaska. In fact, now I'm starting to think Alaska. But you can't you can't go in on Alaska, though. Because if you're wrong, you're way wrong. And I don't have anything that says Alaska to me here, except for the fact that there's a lot of Alaska in GeoGuessr. Well, I'm assuming that it has to be an English-speaking country because the railway crossing said railway crossing. So I, I can rule out some countries there, but... All right. We're going to take, like, rural Kentucky or Tennessee. 
or Virginia. Sure, we're like right along. It's not really the interstate, I'd say. Let's just pick this. We're like down here. Wow, okay. A surprisingly good guess. We were in Alabama. It was kind of in the Appalachian region. We got 3,202 points. You can't give me any credit for doing well on these. These have been pretty much exclusively guesses, but they're, they're guesses with information, limited amount of information. Let's just go back quickly and see what the sign is, then we'll start going in the other direction. So we are driving on the right side of the road here, which is an important clue. It's so comforting just to know that we're not in Australia, because that's it's just a crapshoot, man. Unless you're in a city, you're like, oh, there's the Sydney Opera House. Okay. I can't read that, but this does tell us uh, roughly where we are. I don't think that this is Russia. And this this might be ignorant, but some of these characters are obviously like Cyrillic, or at least I'm not familiar with them. But I don't think when I'm in Russia in GeoGuessr, you don't often see like these what I would call W's, right? I think this is maybe more of like um like I'm pretty sure that we're west of Russia. Like this could be Belarus or Lithuania. Eh, I don't think it's Lithuania. I don't think it's Latvia. It could be like. Moldova? Georgia, maybe? I don't know. Let's let's keep moving along here. It could be Russia, admittedly. Well, I don't think we're gonna see too much more. What do, what do these signs say? Or indicate? I have no idea. That is some Illuminati shit that I have no uh, familiarity with. There's another sign coming up. Ah, I was like, they're going to blur it out. That's how important it is. No, this is, there is a curve to the left. What about this one? Okay, you can, don't pass. Be da it'll be dangerous. What do you got for me? Yeah, you know, that's got me thinking a little bit more, a little bit more on the Russian side, admittedly. I'm, I'm completely, like, ignorant of uh, the Russian language. I will say that every time I end up in, in Russia, in, in GeoGuessr, I'm like, this place is beautiful. I don't necessarily harbor any desire to go to Russia. When I lived in South Korea, um, there used to be a ferry that ran from Busan, which is like the southern port city, it's the second biggest city in South Korea, to Vladivostok. I think it's, it's Vladivostok, which is like the, the port on the, well, northeastern part, basically. Of uh, of Russia, and it was like a two-day ferry. Oh, this could be useful. It was like a two-day ferry. Um, I believe that's that says Moscow or like Minsk in the language. Mo KBA, KBA. Okay, if you take the M1, you'll get to Moscow. M1, get to Moscow. M, this is, which one's the M1? Ah, uh, it's this one right here. Okay. How far away is it? Maybe that's not Minsk. Um, 450 meters this way. Let's back it up just a little bit here. I think we're pretty close now. Can't read the sign very well. I'm going to assume that we're, you know, I mean, we're relatively far away, but if Moscow is straight ahead on the M1... Why don't we put ourselves down here in, like, Odin Sovo? Anyway, the the end of that story. That's not so bad. I can live with that. 100 kilometers away in Russia is pretty good. Um, the, the end of that story is that I ended up not going to Russia because they discontinued the ferry. The end. But I wanted to. to like when I, when I finished my contract, I was like, maybe I'll just go to Russia for a couple of weeks. Not to, not to get political or anything. This was... A little bit before, you know, political strife that came about in 2014. I'm trying to make out this sign. So, I guess, like, oi is, like, maybe road in some language. Oh, are there flags back there? These signs are not very helpful. But, I'm... Um, this has me thinking like Eastern Europe again, or maybe Scandinavia. Ah, oh, or maybe Russia again, 
based on this sign, which is very similar to the sign that we had before. So we got the 73 and the 75. And oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hivorila. This has me thinking northwestern Russia, like around St. Petersburg, or maybe Finland. Finland is very popular in GeoGuessr. These roads. I, I kind of like the idea of Finland now, because the roads, they don't have like numbers, or they don't have letters before them, they just have numbers. And a lot of these roads in Finland are just like, here's the 52. Okay. So I think this is a pretty good guess for us. Um, we're looking for 73 and 75. Let's make sure we're in Finland. Yeah, okay. 72... 72. 72. It's a little sparse up there. 69. Uh-huh. 72. 72. Maybe we'll see where the 72 meets some other roads. That's the 5. So well, I think we're in the right country at least. You know, let's let's go a little deeper in. Let's go north. Looking for the 73. 87. We're probably a little too far. If they numbered their roads... Oh, here we go. 75. That's the E75. Is that the same thing? It's a very good question. Joins up with a 69 over here. What about if we take this way? With a 58. 77. That's not where we want to be. 68. <laughs> this is like finding a needle in a haystack here. 67. At least... You know, to be honest, the roads seem like they're labeled fairly logically, or like numbered fairly logically. That doesn't always happen. I was tweeting with Aether Games, who is another GeoGuessr channel, and he's like, you know, Route 1 and 2, or Interstate 1 and 2 in America, are like in the northeastern part, and then Route 3 is in fucking Illinois or something, like halfway across the country, east to west. <sighs> okay, well... One second. We were down like here. 68. Now I've lost where I was to begin with. 58. Finland has... A, it's kind of like a miniature Australia. 77 again. Okay. Well, let's... What if we go west here? 75. Ah! 75 and... Should be like a 73 coming off of it, and then we'll know that we're in roughly that region. Well, what was I saying? Northwestern Russia, maybe, and like we're approaching the border. I think we might have even just crossed it there, 75, 73. So let's just put this down right here for now. Where are we? We're not in Russia yet, but we're close. Okay, so if you go this way, the 75 and this straight ahead is the 73. To the left is the 73 or the 75. To the right is Kotavara. So it's like we're we're like like here or something like that. Or maybe maybe here. The right is the 73 is straight ahead. Ah. Uh, oh wait, Cotavaranti right here. That's that's probably similar. Straight ahead is the 73 to the right to the right. Does this join up with this road at, at any point? I think we might, like, it seems to join up, like, right here. I think we might be here. Let's take a guess. We were 11 kilometers away. That is awesome. That is, I'm very proud of that GeoGuessr game. The Australian one and the American one. Those were both very tough. We got lucky guesses. Everything else, we kind of sussed it out. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. The seat, of course, will be in the video description below if you're interested in playing along yourself. This has renewed my interest in GeoGuessr now that I haven't had a truly terrible run. And, uh, of course, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.